Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. So we are going to discuss uh, prior probability and conditional probability. So let us discuss with the help of an example. Uh, for this, let us consider an event A that there is a rain today. So we express the probability of this event by like by this probability of event A, probability that there is rain today. So uh, there may be so many events related to this event. For example, uh, a related events, uh, event is, suppose B, that there are clouds. Right? So probability of this event B, that there are clouds, is B. So we can calculate the probabilities of both these events using different uh, uh, methods and the uh, available data. So uh, let's now consider another situation uh, that uh, we are asked to find the probability uh, given the information that there are clouds, right? So uh, 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 we are going to, I mean, investigate the event that rain today given that there are clouds. So this probability is different from this probability that rain today, right? Uh, when we are calculating this probability, we do not have any related information. But uh, when we are calculating uh, this probability rain today, uh, but we are given here that there are clouds, so we have related information available with us. So we denote this probability like this, probability A given B. B is there are clouds and A is rain today, right? So this is conditional probability. This is conditional probability. This is probability under the condition that there are clouds, right? And these are called prior probabilities. Probability A or probability B. These are prior probability. Prior probability. Or we also call that a priori probability. A priori probability. Right. So, uh, uh, given some information, the probability this this probability will change. Uh, uh, it will be different from this probability, right? So, conditional probability will be different from the a priori probability. So, in other words, uh, we can say uh, that conditional probability is probability of an event when uh, some partial related information um, uh, related information related to the event which can affect its uh, outcome is also given or is known right so conditional probability is probability of event when some partial information uh, related to the to the event which can effect its outcome is known, right? So information which can affect the outcome of the event is known, right? So this is conditional probability. So let's uh, elaborate this with the help of another example. Let us consider uh, two integrated circuits. They are test, uh, actually we are interested to test the integrated circuits. 
whether they are acceptable or not. Uh, if they get accepted, they're, uh, we test integrated circuits, right? And the outcome is probably accept or reject. So we basically test two integrated circuits and the outcome of each uh, test is either accept or reject. So as we are testing two circuits, so either both of them can be rejected or the first is rejected and second is accepted or the first is accepted and second is rejected, um, rejected or both get accepted, right? So this is basically the sample space of this uh, experiment. So let's now consider an event. Uh, let's call the event B that the first chip is rejected. First chip is rejected. Mathematically, this can be expressed as the first chip R here in the first place, R here in the first place. So this is R R comma R A. This is first chip gets rejected. And similarly, let's consider the event A. Uh, second chip is rejected. So mathematically speaking, so second chip here, this again is R R and this R here at the second place, R R and A R, right? So uh, uh, the a priori probabilities a priori probabilities will be denoted by P A and probability of B. Probability that the first chip is rejected or the probability that the second chip is rejected. So these probabilities are quite small because uh, uh, you know, uh, the integrated circuits are usually manufactured in a very clean environment. So uh, what if we know that uh, the sec the first chip has been rejected, right? So uh, given this information, what's the probability that second chip is rejected? So this will change the entire scenario now because when we know that the first chip has been rejected and if that chip is coming from the same wafer, right, frames the same silicon wafer, then the probability of the second chip being rejected goes high. So the conditional probability will be different. The probability of A given B, the probability that the second chip is rejected given that the uh, first uh, chip has been rejected. So this will be different. Uh, it will be usually higher than that A priori probability, right? So uh, in this case only, right? Uh, so uh, uh, this is our a priori probability, right? And this is our conditional probability. And uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, in this example also that um, uh, given uh, partial information related to this uh, event here A, uh, it changes our thinking about finding the probability of that event.